for once forgot that afternoon working on the old rabbit for quite a while you know i think of myself as a bit of a volvo guy but um my god i think the first cars i ever fell in love with were these old vws I haven't got much of an interior in the car yet uh, but there's a seat and a gear shift and a clutch not too much of a shoulder on the edge of Mountain Road, but it's always kind of cool how it works for this shot because there's quite an elevation change between here and down on Kinross Road where uh, the train is right now. Always kind of has a little bit of that, wow, what if this was a model railway feel? Kind of makes you think. You know, of course, the reason we fired up the little rabbit that could were photographs like this that were starting to pop up on the different forums. Uh, HMLX 8704 had been put back into service, still just patched out, and um, the idea that it was so close to home, I mean, how could you not go trackside to go see something like this? Of course, we were a little bit late rolling into town. 100% uh, that's on me and a stop for coffee. Um, we missed them picking up the cars right outside of Gort, but I'm super thrilled that we caught them lifting that hopper just out back of uh, Gort on uh, Kinross Road, and our chase started in there. So we chased them all the way up the Franklin Spur, and here we are up at the top, back in familiar stomping grounds up at Beaverbrook. Really had this vision of the video that we shot working out better than it did, but we've got some pretty fantastic stills, and I'm super proud of that. Also deeply in love with the fact that we live in a time where our models have advanced to the point of, well... The audio from this clip is what we stripped off, and then we were actually able to load that into the ESU decoder in the model. So, you know, when we're running 8704 on the layout, that's sound from an actual railfan trip that we travel on. You know, you joke that you can hear a photograph, um, and sometimes that's just the sound of the train. It's so vivid in your memory. Or times like this, you know, when the crew is confessing that uh, they were laying a bet on us, whether or not the little VW that could would make it all the way up the hill in time to catch them at Beaverbrook. Sort of sounds like the bet James and I were making over whether or not 8704 would have to double because of those cement hoppers on the inbound train. Uh, but everything seems to have worked out, and in all of the good ways, it's all downhill and easy from here. You know, you look at these photographs today, you remember these kinds of rail fanning trips, and uh, that kind of infuses the work, doesn't it? And you totally recall, well, this is why we do the hobby sometimes, why we're creating these photographs. It's not so much, hey, we were here, as it was, we actually were here, and um, we're better for it.